Good evening. I'm Lindsay Cooper with Cole Creek Media. Here's tonight's news and local events for the Logan County area brought to you by Blankenship Wealth Management. A coffee event called Coffee with a Call is scheduled for January 4th from 4 to 6 p.m. at 22 Brew in Paris. The purpose of the event is to engage in a conversation about foster care in the local community. The event is open to all who are interested in learning more about foster care and how to support those in need. Don't miss this opportunity to be a part of a meaningful conversation. In an effort to combat food insecurity among children in Arkansas, Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders has announced the launch of the Summer EBT program. This program will provide $120 in food benefits to qualified children who participate in the National School Lunch Program during the summer months. The benefits will be administered on preloaded EBT cards similar to the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, or SNAP, and will be federally and state funded. The Arkansas Department of Human Services and the Department of Education will collaborate on an operation plan detailing how benefits will be administered beginning in summer 2024. The program is expected to help, help combat food insecurity across the state by providing much needed nutritious food for children even when school is out. Coming up next, the magazine community is rallying together for a very special event. Stay tuned to find out, find out how you can make a difference and help honor a beloved community member. Stay tuned. Are you ready to take control of your financial future? Make your dreams a reality at Blankenship Wealth Management. Our personalized strategies are tailored to your goals and aspirations. Trust in Blankenship Wealth Management for a brighter tomorrow. Blankenship Wealth Management, your path to financial success. Tyler Ford and Boonville, trust and tradition matter. For 27 years, we've been your hometown dealer, making car buying easy and stress-free. Our family tradition is built on trust. And when you choose Tyler Ford, you're choosing generations of satisfied customers with a commitment to excellence and your satisfaction in mind. Tyler Ford offers a range of vehicles to suit your needs. From the latest models to reliable pre-owned options, we're dedicated to find the perfect fit for you. Visit us in Boonville or call us at 479-675-2313. Let us show you why generations of families choose Tyler Ford. Because we're more than a dealership, we're part of your community. Tyler Ford, where trust meets tradition. The magazine community is gearing up for the J.C. Lynn Shelton Blood Drive. The Blood Drive is scheduled for Saturday, January 13th from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the Starting Point Ministries Fellowship Hall and Magazine. The event is being organized by area residents to honor J.C. Lynn Shelton and to help meet the ongoing need for blood, don for blood donations. Donors will receive a unique glow-in-the-dark bear t-shirt as a thank you for their contribution. To schedule an appointment, please call Lindsay Shelton at 479-495-0270. Let's unite as a community and make a difference by donating blood to those in need. A senior at Magazine High School, Brock Gentry, has been named a College Board National Royal and Small Town Recognition Program Scholar. This program awards academic honors to high-performing, underrepresented students who meet certain criteria based on their academic achievements. Gentry's recognition is based on his academic achievements for his junior year, and he is among the recipients who, who have demonstrated their academic excellence. The program is open to sophomores and juniors, and it provides an excellent opportunity for students to be celebrated by their school, community, and for colleges and universities to identify top performing award winners. Congratulations to Brock Gentry on his impressive achievement. Coming up next, we'll take a look at our weather in Logan County, and Dylan will have the latest from the Bank OZK Classic that took place over the break. Stay tuned. In the heart of Logan County, where the community savors the taste of Mexico, there's a name you can rely on, Pinjamo Mexican Restaurant. Since 2003, Pinjamo has stood as a culinary cornerstone the go-to place for celebrating successes and sharing moments with friends. 
For two decades, Pinhamo has been the cherished destination for celebrating life's most precious moments. Whether it's a graduation, a birthday, or a moment you said yes to forever, Pinhamo has been there, woven into the fabric of your life. Join us tonight and savor the authentic flavors of Mexico. Pinhamo Mexican Restaurant, satisfying Logan County's cravings since 2003. Is the world feeling a little too loud, a little too fast? Step into your Rokabee, where joy blooms in every cup. Discover a world of exquisite teas, each one a symphony of flavor, served with a smile. Find your moment of zen in our tranquil tea room, or take a taste of serenity to go. Explore our curated gift shop, where joy takes tangible form. Nourish your mind, body, and spirit with our upcoming workshops, from afternoon tea to self-defense. Yurokabi, where every cup, every gift, every moment whispers joy. Visit Yurokabi today. Find your joy. At Shelter Insurance, we've found that peace of mind offers some real advantages. That's why we work hard to make things easier for you. By sheltering your cars. By sheltering your home. By sheltering your toys. By sheltering your life. Peace of mind. Isn't that the best shelter there is? Shelter Insurance. We're your shield. We're your shelter. Contact Baker Shelter Insurance in Booneville at 479-675-2782. Here's a look at our weather, sponsored by Baker Shelter Insurance. Tonight, cloudy skies overnight with a low around 30 degrees. For our Wednesday, some clouds in the morning, followed by sunny skies in the afternoon and a daytime high around 54. Tomorrow night, clear and cold with an overnight low around 27 degrees. Three Logan County girls basketball teams played in the Bank of Ozark basketball tournament over the holiday. The tournament took place in Ozark from December 28th through the 30th. The tournament consisted of eight teams, which were Ozark, Boonville, Atkins, County Line, Lavaca, Paris, Prairie Grove, and J.C. Westside. The first game was an exciting matchup between Boonville and Ozark. The Lady Cats went on to beat Ozark 42-31, with Lady Cat Jr. Angie Brown getting four steals and 10 points to help lead her team to victory. Prairie Grove went on to win the tournament by defeating Atkins by a final score of 56 to 44. Thank you for joining us tonight. Be sure to check back here for breaking news, exclusive stories, and local events. I'm Dylan Harden with Coal Creek Media, local news by local people.